This week I want to review another hidden gem, At Close Range. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this movie, and it's unfortunate because this is a great crime thriller slash neo-noir, and it's in an exceptional Christopher Walken performance. This is definitely one of, if not Christopher Walken's best roles, and this film is kind of slept on. That might be because it bombed when it was released, so it doesn't really have a reputation as a celebrated classic, but this is actually a great film from 1986. Three stars. I recommend At Close Range. This film is free on Tubi. I know everyone loves Tubi, so go watch At Close Range, starring Christopher Walken, Sean Penn, and also his real-life brother, Chris Penn. Chris Penn, by the way, looks almost unrecognizable compared to how you remember him. I always think of Chris Penn as a chubby tracksuit guy, but in this film, he's just a scrawny kid. Ironically enough, we all know that Chris Penn would end up simultaneously developing a taste for calorie-heavy foods as well as activewear, which will have a drastic effect on his appearance and future roles. I'm talking about his character roles, not his physical body composition. At Close Range was directed by James Foley, the director behind Glen Gary Glenn Ross, which is another all-time favorite of mine. And this movie has some great visual storytelling. It has moody cinematography, but what I really love about this movie is the performance of Christopher Walken as Brad Whitewood Sr. He's a sleazy, mustachioed thief and deadbeat dad to Sean Penn and Chris Penn. He shows up one day out of nowhere, and through this uh, newly developing relationship, the boys get involved in crime. They put together their own junior crew and start stealing tractors from farms, and eventually Brad Jr., the Sean Penn character, gets bumped up to doing jobs with his dad. And as he delves deeper into the criminal world, he starts to realize that his father isn't someone to be looked up to. I'm not going to spoil this film completely because I think people should go and watch this one. Like I said, this might be Christopher Walken's best performance or at least one of them along with King of New York. Sean Penn is also pretty impressive in this film, and there's a lot of other familiar faces. Crispin Glover plays a very Crispin Glover-like character, and Tracy Walter plays Penn's uncle and one of the members of the Whitewood crime family. Good performances all around, but Walken is the standout. It's a funny performance, but not so goofy that you don't believe the characters. His accent might not be regionally correct to Pennsylvania, but I honestly didn't even think about that the first time I saw this movie. If you watch this movie multiple times, you will find yourself laughing at his delivery, for sure. Hi! At Close Range is based off a real crime family in rural Pennsylvania, and that's part of the film's novelty. It's a noir film, but it's not set in the city. The setting is instead a rural area, kind of an inversion of the noir but still it's not a pleasant place. The film makes the setting look hopeless in a way that's very bleak. You know, it's, it's one thing to be dirt poor in New York City or LA where there's tons of opportunity, but to be dirt poor in rural Pennsylvania is even less optimistic. The cinematography and direction reminded me of Twin Peaks, and it turns out the director James Foley would later go on to direct episodes of the original Twin Peaks. So I guess that kind of makes sense. This film came out the same year as David Lynch's Blue Velvet, and while I don't think this film is nearly as well-conceived and executed as that one, I think if you like Blue Velvet, this is another film that you'll enjoy. At Close Range has a weird 80s synth score by Patrick Leonard. Patrick Leonard, probably most well-known for working with Madonna in the 80s. Madonna was Sean Penn's wife at the time, and she does vocals on a theme song for the movie. I don't love the music. It feels kind of dated and, and stuck in the 80s. And aside from that, this movie is kind of timeless if you, if you took away that music. The year after At Close Range was released, Sean Penn and Madonna would star together in Shanghai Surprise, which was another box office bomb. And after Sean Penn realized what a bad actress his wife was, he gave her a Shanghai Surprise by smashing his fist into her face. Allegedly. My other issue with this film, aside from the shitty theme and spousal abuse, is the pacing. The pacing is just kind of a bit off, the movie gets boring at times. Also, I think the ending has some issues. If you want to avoid uh, spoilers, end this video here. Go watch At Close Range. It's a great movie. Three stars, which is what Madonna saw after being pummeled by her psycho actor ex-husband. Allegedly. After Brad Jr. is incarcerated, his father sexually assaults his very young girlfriend, played by Mary Stuart Masterson. This kind of feels like it comes out of nowhere, and the thought process here is kind of bizarre. Brad Sr. is worried about her talking, so he, 
this is like his attempt to destroy her relationship with his son. And this ends up having the opposite effect. And Brad Jr. turns on his father, as you assume he would. <laughs> it's kind of bizarre. Brad Jr. gets out of jail, and he and his girlfriend, Terry, attempt to flee, but are ambushed, and she's killed uh, while he survives. And he survives to confront his dad, Brad Sr., which is also a strange scene. Brad Jr. shows up, and he's acting like he doesn't know it was his dad, and Brad Sr. is playing along. It's kind of weird. And then uh, Brad Jr. goes into the bathroom, and he gets his dad's gun. But he decides not to kill him, which I, I kind of get. He's rejecting the criminal path that his father took. But at the same time, things have escalated at this point to where you, you want to see Christopher Walken get killed. Not only did he kill this guy's girlfriend, but he raped her first for no reason. Kind of a lot to turn the other cheek over. Sean Penn pointing the gun at Christopher Walken in this scene is hilarious. This cracks me up every time I watch the movie. Whoa! Whoa! Wait! 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 Whoa! Don't! Let me know what your thoughts are on At Close Range. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think Sean Penn's a douche? Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time.